um, welcome back to my channel. Um, to those who are tuning in for the very first time, my name is Rodney Rekos and thank you so much for tuning into this channel. Um, we, we are talking about spar service, we are talking about scholarships and also travels, you know, experiences. That's what we're going to be doing. So um, if you have not subscribed to the channel, I will ask you to subscribe to the channel. Just hit the subscribe channel um, button so that we can make this channel grow and to reach people all over the world. And also, very much importantly, hit that notification bell so that you can be alerted of future videos that I'm going to do because the plan is that every week I'm going to post a video. So let's share this information with people around us, our families, our friends, so they can get opportunities to study abroad. So today I'm going to share with you about the Fulbright um, Foreign Student Program, which funds over 4,000 students all over the world. So in your country, there may be a certain number of students that are funded each year. So I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to make that application. Um, although I'm going to be using the South African route, but however, it's still the same for other different um, countries. So I hope this will be helpful to you. Let's check it out. All right, guys. Um, so this is how we are going to do the application process. So you are going to type your U.S. Embassy um, in your country of res from your country of residence. For example, with me, U.S. Embassy in South Africa. I will click on that, and then scroll down, and then um, click on the U.S. Embassy Consulate in South Africa. And then, um, so it will take me to this page here, and then so I'm gonna go to Education and Culture here. I will click on it and thereafter um, I'm going to go to educational exchanges um, of which is going to, to vary in terms of what you will get depending on your, 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 your the U.S. Embassy in your country. So you're going to click educational exchanges and then um, it should take you to this page if it's in South African one. Um, they are open for application, which is, means there is Fulbright Foreign Student Program, Fulbright um, South African Research Scholar Program, um, Fulbright US Specialist Program, and Fulbright TEA Program. So with us, for the Masters and also the PhD to study that side, we're going to click Fulbright Foreign Student Program. And then so it's going to take us to this page. Um, Yes. Um, so then um, the other information that is very much valuable um, it is in terms of the eligibility. So for this one, it should be an eligible um, resident um, in terms of being a South African citizen or a permanent resident within a minimum of five years. Um, and then um, for non degree visiting student researcher studies must be registered for a PhD or South University. So those are for those who want to do maybe a one year um, visiting um exchange in another in a country which is going to be the us in this case and then so what do we look for in our applicants what is it that they're looking for uh, looking for from you so um, it's academic excellence um so you should have done very well in your bachelor's degree um for if you want to do a master's and for phd it means your master should be very very good and then they're going to be required scores for the um test english exams so for your ILET, your tfl and also your other um um, exams which are also accepted and demonstrate interpersonal skills, evidence, cultural sensitivity because you're going to be meeting people from different walks of life and cultural diversity. So you should be sensitive to to, to be part of um, in terms of that. And, and then um, evidence of leadership potential is also there. A desire for the Fulbright program and give back to your home country upon return. So also very much important that when you come back to your country, you should be able to um, give back those skills that you have learned um, from the United States of America. And then, um, so the other important question is what does the scholarship cover? This is critical. Um, so it covers your travel allowance and transportation from South Africa to the authorized US destination. So it means even for any other country that you're gonna be applying from, it's gonna cover you. There are health benefits, some health insurance, settling in allowance upon arrival in the US. So normally with scholarships, what they do, they will give you a certain, certain amount of money when you arrive at the country so that you are able to buy your basic needs and monthly maintenance allowance to cover living expenses. So there's going to be a monthly allowance 
that you're going to be given every month just for sustainability. And they're going to pay your tuition and fees, book and computer allowance, and also your um, J1 visa sponsorship. So they are going to be just quite a um, lot of things that they're going to be covering for you. So in terms of the application process, I want us to go quickly to that. Um, you're going to click here on the apply and then um, it will take you to this page. So if you are new, you're going to create an account over here so that you're gonna fill in the details and then um, so that you are registered on the portal so you can start with your application process. But because I've, I'm registered already, I'm a returning user, so I'm gonna go to log in and then um, so they're going to need your, your email address. So that's my email address. You can actually use it if you want to ask some other things. Um, so that's what you're gonna do and then so, and then so you're gonna log you in here so I'm, I'm having two applications here because last year i wanted i had started doing this one but um because of the COVID 19 i could not get um, um references on time and all those things I and mean, recommenders so yeah that's why it could not complete it but then i will control this one for 2020 to 2023 so it's going to show you here that when was this application started and then so you can open your application and then so what is actually with this this um this application process i i i find it quite easy actually to complete compared to other ones that i've completed in the past so there are just preliminary questions here that you're going to to answering and then um just giving when are you where are you from you are playing through which country for which year and also your country information where are you from some some i'm from south africa i'm gonna populate that information over there. So here also you see the US contact embassy is going to give you this, that information as, and also for which year is the competition you are applying for and when is the closing day. So it's going to give you all those information. And then, um, so your country information is there. Personal information is just your, your personal information, guys. I think that one is clear. And so your contact information, how are they going to contact you? And then here, academic and professional information. So here they are going to need um, your the, the universities that you attended at um from when until when and also your awards that you have won um in the past um for example i will also indicate that um i was once awarded uh, an exchange program for um from dad to germany so so you're going to include that information and then your teaching experience if there is your research experience if there is so you're going to populate that information over there and then you're going to go to your um, academic material so here you're going to include your transcripts you know your degrees in terms of that and then your language skills so you're going to indicate as to um which native language are you speaking and then what how is your your english proficiency your reading writing and also speaking and then if because if english is not your first language or your native language it means that you'll have to provide your ILETS test or your TEFL test your english test to test your competency so if you have not written your english test yet it's going to be important for you to book for that test so there's a video that i've done on ILETS on what it is and how you can book for that test and then um so here your score reports and then um so you are going to upload your your ILETS um score here i mean test examination results and then your plagiarism agreement so because they don't want you to copy other people's application for you to make to 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 to, to, to populate in here so you're also going to say you agree to the um, um non-plagiarism and then study plan so here you are going to indicate what is your plan what is it that you are planning to study when you arrive in the us are you going to do a master's a doctorate ninth degree visiting student researcher um, and then other. So you're going to indicate your, your major, what you, the field of study, your specialization, why you want to study there and what you want to specialize in that um, um, career choice and your future plans. So you should be able to sell yourself in terms of um, explaining why you want to do that. And your research objective, what is it that you are passionate about for your master's research? So your, 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 your topic, so you can also do that and also explain that, okay, fine, I'm running, I'm passionate about this, and then this is um, the methodology that I'm going to use. So there's also um, a, a template in terms of what is it that you should put um, in the structure of your research proposal. Um, and your personal statement, um, here you are to, going to talk about um, how you, 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 you envision the life and uh, how it will benefit you to study in the US, 
uh, through the scholarship and so you explain all those things and also your university preferences um with the full breast scholarship what they do you're going to choose three universities and also the degree program that you want to do and then in terms of the need for each country they are going to choose one university for you so you don't have to apply at the universities um so which is good man you know you, you know it saves you the time of applying for admission so they do it for you once you have um progress from the interview stage and then um so the other thing and there's this part authorizing the release of information so if you're in you want your information to be released and other things so you need to consent that authorize and then so we are going to go to grant travel plans so in terms of like um your family background um, your family funds, if they are funds, they are funding you, accompanying dependents, if you can be going with your family, your passport, or travel documents you're going to, and through that information. And then here, there's also additional information if there's supplement information that you need to, to populate here. So you are going to, um, to indicate what is it that you are supposed to, and also complete this um, outreach survey, how did you learn about the Fulbright program from a friend and so forth. And then uh, how long do you start applying? So you're going to populate that information. And also here, there's also guys, the, uh, the, the, the interview um, um, venue document where you need to choose where would you like, you prefer your interviews to be held, provided you move to the interview stage. So I'm gonna show you that document not so long. And then um, your recommendations, remember, they will need three recommenders here. So you need, you'll also um, expected to add their details in here. Um, so your where they so like your professors, your employers, and then and, and and people who can actually talk about you in terms of your your your, your capabilities and what you can really, really achieve. And then here you'll have your signature um, in terms of your name, just name and full names and say names that you hear you consent that um, in information that you have fashioned here is a true reflection and you have not for, for provided fraudulent information. So, so those are some of the things. And then, um, so basically that's how the form looks like. And here in review, this one is just going to show you like which um, places you have not completed. And because, so, because I've not completed this um, application in full. So that's why you find that there are some other um, tabs that will show you that you know what there's still information that is needed um so that, that's more like it guys and then in terms of the um was that the that the, the form that i was talking about uh um let me click here so this one is an also a guide that you should also click for you to to check um info read in details because here i'm just paraphrasing what is expected from you so um there is um this form over here yes an interview location page so you also need to attach this form um on your application so for example here in south africa so you will have to choose between four locations to do your interviews so you, this one is very 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 much important and you will also find your application checklist right so um, i hope guys um this information was was helpful and please apply for this scholarship please please apply so, all right guys, so, i hope that was helpful and that you'll be able to make that application as soon as possible remember the closing date is on the 14th of may 2021 for the course that is starting in 2022 september to 2023 for a master's and also for a PhD, which will be in 2024. However, um, in terms of master's, as I've said, I mean PhD, then you can be able to um, make um, the funding um, request in the universities because most universities surely they um, give such funding, but it is not guaranteed. So um, make those applications. And then if there's anything that you would like to know from me, the comment section, you can be able to um, comment there, like the like the video, and also let's engage. And most importantly, the link I've shared them on the description box. You can also check them out. So I hope you get that scholarship. All right, we'll talk next week.